The last Nuclear Nonproliferation Treaty Conference in 2015 failed because of disagreements between nuclear and non-nuclear states. Increasing tensions among the U.S., China, and Russia are making negotiations at this year's NPT conference even more challenging. I sat down with Undersecretary General for Disarmament Affairs Izumi Nakamitsu to talk about preventing a nuclear catastrophe. I'm Frank Uciardo, and this is TRT World One-on-One. -on -One. Izumi Nakamitsu, UN Undersecretary General for Disarmament Affairs, thank you for joining us here on TRT World. Thank you very much. The last NPT conference did not produce an agreement to advance the UN's disarmament agenda. What hopes do you have for this conference that anything has changed? It is true that they were not able to adopt an outcome document by consensus. Uh, and since then, of course, as we all know, the international security environment um, has been consistently deteriorating. So the, the broader context within which the, the NPT review conference, this time the 10th one, is taking place is actually quite a challenging one. But because of all these challenges, and I will add, uh, since the Russian invasion of Ukraine, uh, the nuclear risk has actually become so apparent, it's no longer something that we should think as an abstract risk, but it's real. And, and we need to, to deal with it. We need to tackle this. The increasing tensions between the U.S., Russia, and China must be high on your agenda because of the threat it poses. There are, of course, um, you know, challenges related to a perception that, and then we think this perception is a wrong one, uh, nuclear weapons actually are ultimate security guarantee. We need to put a stop to this rather dangerous and, and inaccurate narrative, if you, if you will, regarding the possession of nuclear weapons, and reduce the risk and put a stop um, to these uh, dangerous trends uh, overall spreading. Japan's Prime Minister, Fumio Kishida, is attending the conference. And I understand this is the first time that a Japanese Prime Minister will be in attendance. What are you expected to hear from the only nation devastated by nuclear weapons? Yes, Japan is the only um, country where nuclear weapons were, or atomic bombs were used uh, within war. Uh, and as such, um, you know, Japan has always placed nuclear disarmament as one of a priority agenda for its foreign policy agenda. This really signifies, it really demonstrates the, the strong commitment of the Prime Minister himself, you know, who's from Hiroshima, actually. He has made nuclear disarmament issues as one of his foreign policy priority agenda. What have been the key achievements of the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty? Well, I think uh, NPT has been one of the most uh, successful multilateral treaties. As you know, it entered into effect in 1970. So, you know, in 2020, it was meant to be the 50-year anniversary uh, year. Um, and um, while before the NPT was made, there were predictions that there would be uh, potentially 20, 30 nuclear weapon states, that hasn't happened. Um, and that is largely thanks to the NPT. Your office not only deals with the use of conventional nuclear weapons, but also the possibility of weapons that are used in outer space. Uh, what are the threats that you see are in the future, and what do you face there? Uh, in Geneva, there is a, a group of government experts discussing issues related to lethal autonomous weapon systems. You know, for example, issues related to anti-satellite mi missile testing, which actually creates so much debris uh, in, in, you know, orbits um, and, um, and very risky behavior. I imagine that if I were in your shoes, I'd have my hands on the doomsday clock and try <laughs> to pull it back. Do you ever feel, it, feel that way some days? Oh, well, I mean... You know, I believe in the, the, the efforts uh, at the multilateral level. Um, you know, it's, it's extremely challenging. Um, things are, are really dire. Um, we are, you know, very often concerned. Uh, but at the same time, we have to believe uh, in the utility and the power of multilateralism. Um, you know, these challenges can only be addressed through multilateral engagement and diplomacy. So we would not stop our efforts. Uh, quite the contrary, we will increase our efforts. Thank you for joining us here on TOT World.